Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here from Aylesworth Razors, back with another shave video. I have a really exciting shave today, starting off with this puppy right here, which is the limited edition Musashi from Gentleman's Nod. Then to go along with that samurai theme, I'm going to be using one of my favorite razors right here, which is the Tatara Masamune in stainless steel. And last but not least, I'm going to be pairing that up with the Ruby Resin brush by Chisel and Hound with the V13 Fanchurian Knot. As always, let's talk about the soap first. So that is Musashi by Gentleman's Nod. This is my first Gentleman's Nod soap. It's actually a five ounce pour. So it's a nice hefty pour there. And uh, I believe it comes in at around $27 US, 35 Canadian, which is more expensive, but again, you're getting a little bit more for it. This is in the V4 base, which is a tallow base, as you can tell by the lather on my face. And in my brush here, it worked very well in terms of lathering. The Musashi is a limited edition, and so it's a limited run. It's part of a new series called the Origin Series, which basically um, they build a whole fragrance profile around one particular heart note. And then the rest of the notes are built around um, a theme based on a, a particular region. So Musashi is named after Miyamoto Musashi, who is like a legendary historical figure in Japan. You know, he was a real person, a samurai warrior who just achieved kind of almost fictional level legendary status. There are all kinds of movies about him, graphic novels, books, but, you know, he was the kind of person that could do superhuman things, if you believe the stories. And you can see it on the artwork for the soap tub. It's got a samurai sitting there, one of those old kind of samurai ink paintings or Japanese ink paintings. Of a samurai in traditional samurai clothing, kneeling, holding a sword. Um... Just a small side note, that's very interesting to me personally because I actually studied Japanese sword fighting for a while and also Yoshinkan Aikido. Um, I got up to a black belt in Aikido and a brown belt in Japanese sword fighting. So I've always been very fascinated by the samurai history and Japanese history. Um, back to the fragrance profile though, it's basically almost described as a story. Um, it's supposed to take you on a journey in a remote Japanese island from the coast, inland, and into the dense forests of the mountains, Japanese mountains. The heart of the fragrance profile is jasmine tea or green tea. And then the journey starts with yuzu, which is like a Japanese lemon, it's a citrus and Nashi Pear. So that's the coastal element. It's um, some fruity citrus fragrances. Then as you move inland, you get into the Jasmine Tea and then also some floral elements. And then as you move deeper and go down into the base, that's when we get into the kind of dense, mossy, mountain forests of Japan. Off the tub, the fragrance smells amazing. You get that yuzu, a bit of the plum, some of the florals, and of course the tea, which is the heart of the fragrance. And on the face, it carries through just the same. Definitely, I would say the yuzu, the pear, and the green tea are most dominant. I'm not getting a ton of the woods, the kind of green, mossy, dense, forest-type notes that are described there. A little bit of the florals, too. Apologize if you hear some kind of knocking noise in the background. It appears that my neighbors are doing some uh, construction. It's Saturday here, so I guess they're doing some renovations on their unit. But yes, um, 
you know, it's a, it's a very nice kind of exotic citrus Ford fragrance with the heart of tea. So, you know, it almost makes me feel like if, you, if you're like a boba bubble tea fan, or you like to go to those um, boba places, and sometimes you get like a juice instead of a boba, and a lot of those juices have that green tea, jasmine tea in there, because it's just such a perennial ingredient in the Japanese food and culture, and especially in treats, desserts, and things like that. So if you get yourself one of those, this is it's pretty much like having one of those on your face. <laughs> and, you know, for me in specific, it's, it's very nice. I'm definitely liking it so far. Now for the razor, we're using the Tatara Masamune, going along with that Japanese samurai theme. So Tatara um, is a small privately owned CNC razor maker out of Portugal, three guys. All from different engineering backgrounds. One of them, I believe is a karate black belt. And so um, the name Tatara comes from the kind of furnace that they would have used to forge the steel that was used in katanas. And if you follow them on Instagram, you'll see that their story is full of samurai imagery. Even their logo is a samurai. Also their razors are named after types of swords. So a masamune is a type of Japanese samurai weapon. And so is the Nodachi and the Muramasa. All different uh, kinds of Japanese weapons. That's where they get their naming from. The Masamune is kind of their, I guess, most entry-level razor. It is a 316 stainless steel, sandblasted razor, retails for about, I want to say 180 US, um, around 235 Canadian. It weighs about 85 grams, has a 3.25 inch handle, a 0.63 millimeter blade gap, and a slightly less than neutral exposure. I just dinged myself. I have some bumps here and uh, I just hit one there, but um, this has been one of my top razors in my den. Um, it is a milder razor. I'm using a Gillette Silver Blue second use blade in it right now. But I will say, interestingly, coming off of just having used the um, plus, Dracon plus plate, or H plate. I'm actually feeling like the 0.63 is a little bit lacking efficiency for me now. It's interesting how that works. And let's see how it goes with the third pass here. Always a real big fan though of these Tatar razors. Some really nice original design. The handle is very interesting. It can't stand up on its own because that round bit at the bottom. So, you know, you may want to stand for it, pick up that optional stand. But um, just, yeah, very, very beautiful, original sort of proprietary design. 
the top cap and plate, the way that the blade is held in place, it's all very innovative. Exceptionally well crafted. With the small blade gap, the 0.63, and especially the negative exposure, it may not have that blade feel or aggression that some people are looking for. But if you like, you know, a smooth daily driver style razor. One that you can get a nice three pass shave in and not worry too much about irritation. Then this might be a razor for you. It's definitely in my traditional wheelhouse. Although I must say with my recent outing with the Dracant Plus Plate prototype, it has piqued my curiosity about, you know, that kind of medium plus efficiency range of razors too. Maybe the Timeless 0.98 or a slightly higher plate level on my carve Christopher Bradley. You might be interested in exploring some of those shave experiences as well. But always a very enjoyable shave with this 0.63 blade gap Masamune. Other things going on, La Mafioso just released on Saturday. I was like getting ready to go out hiking with Margo when I got the notification on my phone. And so I had to stop everything and just run over to top of the chain and make sure I got that in my basket. So that's on the way. I've never tried the Mala Puffa, but it sounds like a banger. And I do like those inspired by cologne soap fragrances. Okay, let's uh, try this Mus Musashi Splash here. Interesting, a little yellowish on the pour. That's unusual. Ooh. Oh, quite the sting there. Nice. Almost vaguely rubbly, rubbing alcohol smelling on the first application. Very citrus forward in terms of that, that fragrance. Hmm. Very soothing on the dry down. That sting is really nice. It kind of punches you at first and then it has this calming, soothing effect. The fragrance is very consistent across the splash, very citrus forward, getting that yuzu, the pear, and then the tea is taking a little bit more of a backseat. I would say the splash fragrance is uh, more citrus forward, more of that yuzu coming through. Okay, so now for the shave. Um, really enjoying the Musashi, really great. The, the post feeling on this splash is something else. It had this kind of momentary, like almost rubbing alcohol forward fragrance that just immediately dissipated. And it's it's got almost like this kind of cooling mentholated feeling on the skin after that initial citrus punch. Yeah, very nice. Um, the soap, the base, that V4 base was amazing, performed incredibly, lathered up incredibly, um, felt great on the face. And the fragrance, I would say, is very much as described. You know, it's citrus forward. It's got that tea in there as a heart with some uh, a little bit of floral notes in there. 
Um, I would say the woods aren't very strong. You know, they might be there in the background as a, as a base, but they're not coming through uh, in a very noticeable way. So if you like citrus and you like tea, I think this is going to be a soap for you. Um, very enjoyable. The uh, chisel and hound brush performed fantastically with that V13 um, Fanchurian knot. And the Tatara Masamune. So I have done a first impression on this razor a while back on the channel, and I really enjoyed the shave that it gave me. Um, my wheelhouse is traditionally sort of that daily driver, very mild feeling, uh, low blade exposure type of razor that you can do like a nice irritation free three pass shave. And this definitely fits that bill. So if you do like those kind of, uh, you know, irritation free three pass razors that you can you can do the full three pass thing without worrying about over shaving and all that kind of stuff then this is going to be the razor for you as well that being said based on my um kind of more recent outing that i did with the dracant plus plate or h plate uh, i use those terms interchangeably i will say you know when i did that i, I did a two pass shave um, with the grain and then against the grain no across the grain pass and I got to a near BBS uh, with just a couple small pickups and two passes so I'll say you know I can see what the allure is for that type of shave as well it, especially for people who are more experienced and like a little bit of blade feeling or don't want to go through the full three passes maybe they're afraid of over shaving with too many passes and whatnot um, <clears throat> so you know if that's the type of shaver that you are then I, I don't think this would be the razor for you but again if you like a full three pass with a, maybe a little bit of pickups, you like that daily driver type category, mild, um, medium efficiency, then the Tatara Massimune is going to be the razor for you. Excellent build quality, quality, excellent style, all that stuff. Love all of it. So that's going to be it for the impressions today. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button, do the subscribe. You know the whole drill and everything. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next video.